We've got over 500 vehicle tests on this channel, and almost all of them have headlight tests. So if you want to see how the lights on your vehicle work, this is the right place to be. And it looks like we got sit a Ram pickup truck with the e-torque engine and the fancy air suspension. Load up with all the goodies. We're gonna have a full week road test video on this in a couple days. Right now, we're strictly doing the night drive and headlight test. So let's take this out in the dark and get the video rolling. So when I first got this Ram, I had a few things that were bothering me. Number one, we had daytime running lights, which means anytime the engine is running, you cannot turn the headlights off at all. And number two, I had an auto dimming mirror and I couldn't find a way to turn it off either. I don't like auto dimming mirrors, especially if you can't turn them off. And I had a heads up display in the windshield. I couldn't find a way to turn it off, but you don't see it now, do you? Because yes, there is a way you can turn it off. And there is a way you can disconnect the auto dimming mirror. And yes, there is a way you can turn off the daytime running lights, but uh, it's temporary apparently. You have to reset it every time you start the car. But as long as you can turn it off when you want to, that's okay by me. The dimming mirror can be turned off right here on the screen. Some of these things can be turned off on the gauge cluster by pushing buttons on the steering wheel. And other things like the auto dimming mirror can be turned off on the large computer screen. So all three of these things can be turned off if you don't like them. So we're off to a good start. So with that being said, let's check out the headlights and the taillights. Got a little bit of dust on it because we did some four-wheeling today. Uh, check out the emergency lights. Easy to see even with the taillights on. Got some flashers on the outside mirrors. Not very easy to see with the headlights on, that's for sure. There, much better. Definitely better. And I see I have the bed light on for some reason. Things got a lot of buttons and switches and gadgets, so it takes a while to learn everything. So as you can see, we have a large info screen, and this uh, touchpad does a bunch of other stuff too. Shift mechanism is a knob on the dash, easy to see. Lights up well. So does the gauge cluster. Put it in reverse, and this is what you see. It's not very clear because apparently it got too much dust on it when I was four wheeling today, but in spite of that, the clarity is pretty good. A good wide spread, too. Now to the headlights on a wall 33 yards away or 100 feet. Very, very bright, good height because we're over the bushes. Let's go to high beam. Very, very strong in the middle. Not much of a wide spread, but definitely the center is where you need it the most. Especially if you're out in the sticks four wheeling. Let's try the side street slow beam. Wow, really reaches down to those signs. Very strong in the middle. <laughs> yes. And let's see how these high beams light up the street signs on the freeway. Yeah. All the way down there. That's about a half a mile. Definitely, definitely powerful. Definitely these are very potent high beams. I don't think anybody will be complaining. And that includes our night drive. If you want to see the entire road test we did for a week of driving, just go then, click and watch. You might as well, you're already here.